All right, welcome to today's very quick video where I'm gonna be showing you how to empty out the boiler in your heat exchanger espresso machine. You might wanna do this for a variety of reasons. Probably the main ones would be if you're going to transport the machine or if you simply want to flush out a bunch of old water because your machine has been sitting still for a long period of time. Luckily, this is a very, very easy process. It's pretty hard to screw up, but there is one main point that you're going to want to consider for the safety of your machine. The first step is going to be to let your machine heat up to full heat and full pressure, which is something that I have already done. After that, and the one safety component, is then to turn off your machine. This will ensure that the elements don't burn out as we empty out the boiler. So you can turn off at the power source, maybe also unplug it for an added bit of safety. After that, you're going to find a container that can preferably fit the volume of your machine's boiler and then put it under the hot water spout. The reason we're using the hot water spout is because that drains from the bottom of the boiler and it's gonna be able to fully empty it with the residual pressure in there. After that, simply open up the water spout and let it empty all the way. Once the boiler is pretty much emptied, you can then also lift the lever on the front of the machine, which will let out any additional water that is actually in the E61 itself. But then after water stops coming out of the hot water spout, stops coming out of the group head, you can be sure that your machine is empty and it is now ready for transport or just to fill up with fresh water again. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like. And if you wanna see some more like it in the future, maybe even hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any new videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.